It's Chucks Miranda here with a film breakdown and evaluation of Notre Dame running back Kyron Williams. Williams measured in at the NFL Combine at 5 foot 9 inches tall, 194 pounds, with 28 and 5 eighths inch arms and 9 inch hands. Let's start with the Notre Dame game against Florida State. And one of the things you need to know about Kyron Williams is that he's a converted wide receiver. He started playing the running back position in Notre Dame, and you can kind of tell he's still learning the nuances of the position. And on this play, you're going to notice his footwork and his pacing. They're a little bit off here. So here's the play. Ball snapped. And I want you to see that little jab step there. It's a little bit unnecessary, but it's not a huge deal. What I want you to notice and really spot out is you see how he just kind of runs into his line? That he's got to have better pacing, better control, better patience, and just hold up a little bit instead of rushing. Because now, now that he's right, at, right in that mix of garbage there, he doesn't have a clear path to the edge. And because he doesn't have that clear path, he gets held up, and the run goes for what one yard, not even. So you want to see Kyron here really control his pacing better, have better footwork on his path. Here's another play where Kyron kind of needs to work on his footwork and his his post snap path. So I want you to see here, he's going to take it to the outside. Now, coaches, what they teach you as a running back is you need to press the line of scrimmage north-south first before you hit to the outside. Even on design runs to the, to the perimeter, press north-south first, press that line of scrimmage, so that you can bait these defenders and then attack the edge. But Kyron doesn't do that. He immediately just gets east-west. Look at his hips. They're, they're pointed toward the uh, sideline. So because he does so, it makes it a little harder for him to get to the edge. And he gets a decent gain, but it could have been a bigger gain if he right here, you want to press vertical first. Even if it's just over a little bit. Press vertical to bait these linebackers, these defenders, at that second level. And then you have an easier time getting to the edge. Now what you want to do with Kyron, you want to get him in space. All right? Let him have space to work. Especially earlier on as he's continuing to learn the nuances of the running back position. Now on this play, that's what Notre Dame does. Look at him in space. Now, he's got defenders here. He's got to beat one defender, two defenders in order to get to the end zone. He's going to do that with so a dead leg move there, and then he's going to overpower that defender and push his way into the end zone for the touchdown. That's what Kyron does really well. One on one in space, he's able to make defenders miss. One of the things that really stands out also about Kyron, he's a really good pass protector. You're going to see on this play, I want you to keep an eye on this defender. I think that's a safety, but he's going to be able to attack downhill at pretty much full speed. And watch what Kyron does on that blitz pickup. Boom. I mean, that's that's impressive stuff. Watch here on this angle. He just, that is really good, really, really good pass protection there. I mean, Kyron's a small guy. And he's taking on this, this defender full speed. Look at how he gets low. He uses his leverage to his advantage and is able to overpower that defender just enough for the quarterback to get rid of the ball. I mentioned earlier how Kyron is a converted wide receiver. So he's really a dependable and reliable weapon in the receiving game. Not only can he come out of the backfield and be a weapon from there, but you can split him out wide and in the slot and have him run wide receiver routes. Here he is in the slot. He's going to be one-on-one -on -one with that defender. And he's going to beat that defender and then take it to the house. This is one of my favorite plays from Kyron. When it comes to interior running, don't let his short stature fool you. He is compact and he is physical and he can get tough yards inside. Look at his run here, right up the middle, and look at him just overpower those defenders 
gets into the second and third level, and then look at that vision to cut it back, and he scores the touchdown. I describe him when it comes to running inside between the tackles. He's like a bowling ball. He's got power. He's actually more of a power runner, I'd say, than a finesse runner. So you can use you can use him on interior runs. Here's a game against USC. And one of the things I always preach, if you know me, I say this all the time. One of the things I look for is a running back's ability to create when blocking breaks down. And on here, you're going to see Kyron's ability to create when there's no blocking. You see the penetration by the defender here, seven, number seven. I look at Kyron, spin off of that, good contact bounce, good agility. And then immediately, he's going to string a string together a cut to get upfield to make this defender miss. And then he's going to get the first down. Great run. Here it is again. Spin move, make that defender miss, and then immediately get upfield, first down. That's good agility, good contact balance. Kyron again does a really good job of creating here, so he's going to avoid that penetration. And then he's going to cut it this way, because he sees all his blockers here, they've got leverage. So he's going to cut it back this way, which is, again, good decision by Kyron there. But then he gets caught from behind, and that's one of the things about Kyron doesn't have great burst, which is surprising for a runner of his stature and his build. Um, you prefer to have him be a little bit faster, more explosive, but Kyron just isn't. That's not his game. I said it earlier. He's more of a power runner than he is a finesse runner. Here's a good run by Kyron. Really good run. And on this one, you're going to notice, look how patient he is here. So earlier in the video, I talked about how he kind of rushed it. He needed to work on his pacing. Well, here, he's already showing improvement. So that's good. He's just got to be more consistent. But good patience makes those two defenders miss. And then look at the open field vision. He's going to look for the cutback. But he waits for this his teammate here, this blocker, to set up. That's really good open field vision and decision making to maximize yardage. So... I like that from Kyron. And on this angle, I want you to see here. So this is Duo. And notice how he's going to wait for his two blockers. So one blocker is here. He's going to double team that defensive lineman. And then that this lineman here is going to work his way up to that linebacker. And Kyron does a good job staying patient. And then he knows that once this lineman sets that block up, now he's got to get downhill, and that's what he does. Two defenders miss, and then he's into the open field. This is a really good run by Kyron. My projection for Kyron Williams is that he projects as a good slash great complimentary player in a running back committee. He does have upside to become a good starter if he can continue to add muscle density to his frame. His skill set is better suited for zone run schemes as opposed to gap schemes. He is a physical and tough runner who will surprise you with his power and strength. His short stature and low center of gravity make him very difficult to corral. His versatility on passing downs is his biggest strength. He is capable of lining up as a wide receiver and running a variety of routes from those alignments. He also is already a tremendous pass blocker. However, Williams is still learning the nuances of the running back position, particularly when it comes to vision and footwork. He tends to bounce runs outside and lacks the consistent pre and post snap diagnosis to warrant being a starter immediately. He also lacks the high end explosiveness, quickness, and speed you'd expect from a running back of his stature. Most concerning, however, is his overall muscle mass and weight and whether it will hold up at the pro level with his physical style of play. He also must improve his ball security. Overall, Kyron may have numerous things to work on still, but he is an ascending prospect that could intrigue enough teams to take him on day two of the draft.